guys, it's Sarah, and I'm going to get started on my next layout for the pa Make Paper Art design team. So this is an Etsy shop that sells these really cool cut files for your silhouette. So I will always have links down below to check out her shop and her files and everything. This is the one I'm going to be using today. This is called Ready Player One, and it's a really cool background that has a bunch of controllers all linked together, almost like a web, and I think that's really cool. And I have this picture of all of the controllers that my girls and my husband use while playing video games. They are definitely, my husband's always been into video games, but my girls are getting into it now too, so it's really cool. Um, let me know how the lighting is for you guys because I actually turned my uh, booktube filming lights around in my room and put them on my desk to see if it would kind of make the lighting a little bit better. All I have is an overhead ceiling fan light in here and it's awful. So I'm trying to make the lighting a little bit better. So let me know if this is a little bit brighter for you guys. Hopefully it will be. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and start getting to work. So I'm going to use this cut file here on top of this map paper that I found. And then I'm going to use a couple things here, including this Cheeky Studio die cut pack that is called, I'm trying to remember, I think it's called Game On, I think it is, and it has a whole bunch of uh, little gaming die cuts in here. I have used this before and um, made a layout, yes, it's called Game On, I was trying to find the package there, and um, so I'm going to pull some of these out today too because this is a layout about gaming, so it's going to go really nicely together. All right, so I am going to go ahead and get started, and I hope you enjoy it. All right, so I have a few um, pieces of scrap paper here and I'm going to use these for my layers. And the one I'm starting off with is this is red and it was just a scrap piece of paper and I thought it would be nice to bring out the red that is in the red controller on the paper, or sorry, in the picture. And now I am cutting down my matte paper, which is from Pink Paisley. And I pulled that because I thought it was, um, neat because a lot of the games that my husband plays have maps in them you know he does a lot of the the uh player what are they called um the rpgs the role-playing games <laughs> and they have maps in them that he has to follow and inside the maps and stuff there's some triangles and some plus signs and stuff like that and some circles and those are all on the controllers as well those are part of the controllers so i just thought it kind of was a nice little play on that Okay, so I have a couple of scrap pieces of paper here that I just pulled from my stash. And I like this one with the numbers on it because, um, you know, numbers go along with video games a lot as well. So I thought that'd be kind of a cool little element. So I am using some Tim Holtz Distress Ink and I'm inking up the edges of those. And I just used a light gray ink color and I cannot think of the name of it off the top of my head right now. <laughs> so sorry about that. Um, I am now putting some ATG on in the middle of all these controllers here and then I'm going to put this down on my background. And I like the way that the black cardstock really stands out against the map paper. It's going to make it, you know, stand out really really well. All right, so got that down, and now I'm gonna play around with my layers and my scrap pieces of paper to see how I want it to go. And I'm gonna end up cutting these both down a little bit. They're just a little bit too big. They're covering up too much of the cut file, and I don't want that. So I am going to cut them down just a little bit, and then I'll need to ink these edges here again because I just cut off all the ink. <laughs> All right, so that's a little bit better. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick my layers down. I'm gonna put the numbers down first and then this uh, chevron here. And then my photo will go on top of those. All right, so now I am thinking about my title and I want my title to be out of control. And it's just kind of a little funny play because, you know, there's a lot of controllers in <laughs> that picture and, you know, control. Get a little out of control with the controllers. So I'm going to use these thickers here. And I think these, the font is called Alley. 
in these thickers and I didn't have any O's so I'm just gonna use a Q and cut off the little the little curly Q on those and I spelled control in capitals and then I did out of in lowercase so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I like the way that it stands out down here and how the smaller words kind of overlap the picture there I really like that all right so now I'm gonna grab some of these die cuts from the cheeky studio pack and use a couple of them I have a couple little red mushrooms which are super cute and then this one here that says eat sleep game repeat and that's gonna kind of be my journaling I don't really need to do journaling for this layout so I'm not gonna have like an actual journaling spot it's just you know there's a ton of controllers so obviously we like to game <laughs> so that's just I'm gonna let you know the the picture and that little die cut there do the journaling for me and I'm gonna add these little um, mushrooms here and then I am also going to add some sequins from Cheeky Studio as well. And I'm just going to add a couple little sequins here and there. And I'm trying to do uh, a green and then kind of a darker blue in each of the sections there. And that is it. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please let me know if you have any questions. Please make sure you check out the Etsy shop in the description below. And I will also have a picture at the back here that has a discount code that you guys can get 10% off your orders. So please make sure you go ahead and use this as well. Hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you again soon.